Hey, hey, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Shanae and I'm so excited to share with you my go-to homemade cherry pie recipe today. It's such an incredible recipe. You get this thick cherry pie filling, buttery crust, everything about this pie is perfection. It's really easy to make. Let's go over the ingredients and we'll get started. For this recipe, you will need cherries. I'm using flathead sweet cherries. You can use sour cherries, but sour cherries, you will need a little more sugar to offset the sourness. But for sweet cherries, we'll just need about half a cup of sugar. So sugar, pie crust, I'm using my homemade pie crust recipe. I already have a video for it. I'll link it up here. If you haven't watched it, please go ahead and watch it. It's an incredible all butter recipe. Also, you will need cornstarch, a little bit salt, lemon juice and a little bit almond extract i put it in and vanilla extract butter and heavy cream we're using to brush it on top of the crust so it browns nicely you can also use egg yolk so let's get started so first we'll cook the pie filling i'm using frozen cherries but you can also use fresh cherries as well for fresh cherries, some people don't cook it but i prefer to cook it just to ensure a nice and thick filling and not discard any cherry juice that you get in a bowl when you mix it without cooking. And we'll add our sugar, cornstarch and salt. If you're using frozen cherries, you don't have to thaw it or anything. Just go ahead and combine everything together and cook it for about five minutes until nice and bubbly over medium heat. While our pie filling is cooking, we're going to roll out our pie dough to line our pie dish. Especially during summertime and during holiday season, I have pie crust in my freezer at all times. Make sure your pie crust is nice and cold so that it doesn't melt on you. See this butter streaks? It's exactly what you want to have. It melts during baking and creates nice and flaky crust. Incredible all butter crust. This is my favorite. Pretty much foolproof. When I'm rolling, I like to make the crust thinner on the edges because we're going to combine the edges and it just, if it's too thick, it really creates really thick crust on the edges, which is not a bad thing, but Okay, it's big enough for our pie, pie dish. Roll it up on the rolling pin just like so. And now I'm going to put the, my pie crust into the fridge while we're preparing the filling and then we'll roll out the top crust. Keep stirring. And then we'll add our lemon juice and almond extract. Almond extract goes with cherry pie so perfectly. I would highly recommend adding it and not omit it. A little bit vanilla extract. And then we'll cook it until it's nice and thick. So it'll come to a boil. It doesn't take long. So my pie filling is almost ready. Just need to thicken it up a little bit more. And I rolled out my top crust. I'm going to show you a super easy, simple way to cut out the top. We're not gonna do a fancy lattice or fancy designs or anything, but I find this design super cute and very easy to do. For this, we need piping tip. If you have a round piping tip, that's great. If you don't have it, that's okay. We'll just use the back of the piping tip. And we'll just cut out little circles like so. And don't throw out the circles as well because we'll use them to decorate the crust. And you can use different sizes if you would like to. You don't need to too many cutouts. We need a little holes to let the steam escape. Okay, filling is ready. Look how thick it is. 
it's exactly how you want it to remove it from the heat and I'm going to bring out the pie crust it smells so so good that little hint of almond extract and cherries it's wonderful okay and now we're going to transfer our top crust on top like so and then pinch the two crusts nice and firm so that they're sealed and then roll it underneath like so so that you can have nice tall edge okay now we'll just crimp it and now I'm going to brush on the heavy cream most often you probably have seen egg wash today I didn't feel like cracking an egg for egg wash because it would just need the egg yolk but most of the time I do have excess egg yolk from making macarons but heavy cream works just fine it makes it brown nicely too don't forget the top of the crust There you go. Now the reserved little circles, we'll just put it on top of the crust to create a little fun design, you know? You don't have to cool your pie filling or anything before adding it to the pie shell. I just added right away hot. It works out just fine. And brush some heavy cream as well on those dots too now my oven is preheated to 375 degrees and I'm going to pop it in the oven for about 45 50 minutes until it's nice and bubbly and golden brown I highly recommend putting a baking sheet on the bottom rack to catch any pie filling if it bubbles over just in case so I will see you in about 50 minutes the pie is ready it's piping hot right out of the oven it smells so good I wish you can smell this now we can't dive right into the pie because it needs to cool completely and ideally chilled in the fridge for an hour or two I usually bake the pie the night before so that it gets plenty of time to chill overnight and there's no temptation or smell of pie all day and we can't dive in that's just me you can just cool it for a few hours on the counter until it's nice and cool and you can eat it the good thing is I already made a pie yesterday and I'm going to cut into it and taste test with you the first pie is always harder to get out so so good look at that and of course you've got to top it with homemade whipped cream or vanilla ice cream is also good but I just love my homemade whipped cream by the way I shared shorts video how to make my whipped cream it has a secret ingredient that makes it irresistible and let's give this a try shall we I just I can't I can't wait anymore mm, perfection butter crust filling is not overly sweet and whipped cream it's just absolutely perfect i really hope you will make it and if you do give it a try please make sure to comment or share a comment on my website under the recipe post i really appreciate it bye